The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. What's Up Waddle Entertainment presents Pundit's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 117, Reunion Endymion. Animation Land. As you can see, I've just finished my script for Chapter 24 of Humans of Sentai Go Ranger. I was just about to take a walk through Stolar Park. You're just in time to come with me. Come on! Now keep in mind, the Dark Kingdom could attack any time, so be prepared for whenever they do. Wait, is that Momoto Chiba? I thought he was abducted by the Dark Kingdom. Momo-chan! Miss me? Oh, Momo-chan! I was so worried about you! I thought you'd never come back! Usagi seems to be reunited with her friends, but this might be too good to be true. There's something strange about the water. I better check with the other Sailor Senshi to go to Fuji's in the main six. Winter-chan! Hey, Miyako. Oh, everybody's here. That's nice. I actually came to talk to you girls about something. We're getting just in time. We've got the sword for the moon, and we figured you want to study here with us. So my sister and I gather the main six and twenty scallions to prepare for your arrival. All right, let me see the sword. Hmm. Oh, it seems to be denser than diamonds. I guess that sword must have a mole's hardness of eleven. I can sense a toxic quality to this sword. Anyway, what did your mother tell us? Alright, so I was taking a walk through Stroller Park when I saw Momoto Chiba standing still. Sagi ran to him and hugged him, but I sensed something strange about Momoto. So I went to find you girls and warn you to keep your eyes peeled for any member of the Dark Kingdom. Oh, don't worry, we can sense it too. We'll make sure to keep an eye out. Ah, <sighs> nothing like a nice, refreshing soda at Hooper Store to relieve the stress of the Dark Kingdom. You know, I feel like going to Game Crown to play some Pac-Man. Come on. Quentin, thank God you're here! Minako, how'd you get here so fast? No time to explain, take a look at this! Somebody is breaching through a game called Contra! Oh, it's Mamoru! Not surprised anybody would have an easy time playing Contra. A good arcade title from Konami, but a hard son of a biscuit! Once I find the legendary silver crystal, my queen will be pleased. Mamoru's trying to gain access to the control room. This could only mean one thing. He's been brainwashed by the Dark Kingdom. However, I'll just leave him alone for now. Main 6! Sailor Senshi! Come quick! Yes, Luna? An intruder has gained access to the control room. You must find the culprit. Alright, let's go! Transformation! Moon Prism Power! Mega! I did it! I found it! The legendary Silver Crystal is mine! The Silver Crystal was inside one of the arcade games all along. You did well, my sweet Endymion. Now nobody will be able to stop us. And you are? I am Beryl, Queen of the Dark Kingdom. I am the one who truly deserves Endymion. And now you will all perish! Endymion, destroy Sailor Moon! Yes, my queen. Oh, that's it! You won't have Endymion for long! Let's end this! Monster Transformation! Oh my god! What kind of power does he have?! I'm not it's time to fall into the world of the Dark Kingdom! Uh, you'll pay for this! All of you! And Demian, retreat! Why don't you beat up my mother as well as Queen Bell? He's deeper under the Dark Kingdom spell than I thought. Somebody, or something, is responsible for this. If that's the case, then whatever is controlling my mother must also be manipulating Queen Beryl. Sailor Moon, I apologize for beating up my mother if it made you upset. But I swear a solemn oath that we will cure him and restore peace to the Silver Millennium. Oh, thank you! You're the kindest friend the princess could ever have! Alright, I feel like I need to prepare for the battle with Queen Beryl, followed by whatever's using her. 
And speaking of fighting, my third match with the Elite Four is in two days. Gotta prepare for that as well. Anyway, stop by whenever you get a chance, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was loosely based on a chapter of Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, written by Naoko Takeuchi, copyright 1992-1997. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.